Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, it is laughable when you see those who are vehemently opposing mass action in this country, now begging those who are leading mass action to call people into action. This is so funny. I don't know what has changed. What were they seeing during that time? And what are they seeing today? How blind were they? And how deaf were these people? I remember very well Raila Odinga knew that William Ruto is going to fail Kenyans. And from the word go, Raila led Kenya, Kenyans into mass action to reject some things and the policy that he knew Ruto was trying to put in place. Now, there are those who are misled by the same regime that allowing mass action means destruction of business. You won't have business to do. So by every means, you have to stop mass action. And therefore, there was another group that were organized to demonstrate against the demonstration going on. <laughs> eh? Demonstration against demonstration. So, through dialogue, we know that a mass action was put to a break. You go to a break, sit the same at one end. You go to a break. <laughs> and uh, what is emerging now? The fact is that we have people who are now asking Raila Odinga to call people to demonstrate. Who are these people? Those who are against mass action. What changed? This is what Raila Odinga is saying. Kenyans are asking me to call for demonstrations. Those who were saying demonstrations were destroying their businesses are now asking me to tell people to come out. We will talk where it's necessary and time are going to come. Right now, we are following a different path. <laughs> Yes, Raila is very diplomatic in his response. It is the business community and other people who are organized. In fact, business community organized people and paid them to beat people in Nairobi when people were demonstrating just because they were misled that mass action means to destroy their business. Today, there is no mass action, but brutal policies have destroyed your business. Now, the stone that you rejected is now the one you want to use to build your foundation of business. We are continuing this panel discussion, but just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our return subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. I think William Ruto's presidency, the kind of policies are here to teach a lifetime political lesson to Kenyans. So that any other time, when you get to the ballot, you vote with your brain, you vote with your mind. Knowing very well that someone is going to formulate policies that are going to affect your life. Not voting on lies or emotions. Let no one whip your emotion and you vote on emotions. Think properly. Not voting on handouts. Now we are here, even after Ruto ascending to power, some individuals who are in business, and of course many of these people are from Mount Kenya region who are misled and they were warned that demonstration means danger to your business. These people are coming to destroy your business. You will have no business. You cannot sell. But we saw very peaceful demonstration. Even the masses were passing near shops. Shops were open. None of these people touched on properties. 
Maandamano ilikuwa ya amani apart from when police officers comes in and use water and canisters live bullets water cannon tear gas that is when they create chaos and violence so people are now calling Raila Odinga they are on their knees today begging for Raila Odinga to call people to come and demonstrate now the message is here for you to have a successful demonstration or a revolution the middle class must be involved once you don't have middle class succession is not easy because you will need resources you will need strategy you will need brains and all this is with the middle class so before you tell Raila Odinga to call people to mass action you should be organizing mass action yourself what we share mko hapo middle class organize you organize fund mass action then let Raila Odinga join you later when you've started this race mulisema ya kwamba biashara itaharibiwa but Raila was seeing the person who was coming to destroy your business and was trying to shield you from that by calling for mass action instead nyinyi mlikuwa na kichwa ngumu today now everyone is facing music and the worst is that those who believed in this regime they feel betrayed they have some pain in them we voted for them they told us they will work for us they were in the government we defended them and now they are posing punitive tax measures that are affecting our business you feel betrayed completely so kama kuna uchungu sote tunaumia uchungu ya kwamba serikali uchungu wenyu ni dabo kwa sababu mlikuwa na imani na serikali at least for some of us hatukuipigia kwa hivyo uchungu wetu uko kwa kiwango fulani <laughs> hapo ndo tumefika sasa nyinyi mtengeneze maandamano mpange watu mwalipe kama ni kuwalipa mtengeneze bangles mkuja kwa barabara and say no to this government those who are in the importation business ya mitumba you've been importing the second hand cloth they don't check on quality uhuru was focusing on weight ana mema tu uzito na ulipe kulingana na uzito hii serikali ya mheshimiwa Ruto ni ya kupima sio ya kupima uzito ni ya kuangalia quality you pay according to quality kama ni nguo ya aina hii lipa kulingana na quality ya hii nguo na sio kulingana na uzito wa nguo mambo imebadilika and that's where we are now so those who are making profit they cannot enjoy the profit so they are feeling the pinch they call for mass action and they are asking Raila to lead i shared another video with you here where a saloonist was complaining that no one is entering the saloon then another boutique no one is going to buy cloth on christmas time when many activities are taking place when kenyans are engaged on so many things but no one is going to buy now they have lacked the purchasing power it has gone down now they know that they needed raila odinga that mass action was good sasa tuko hapa Raila has ended his statement very clear. We will talk when it's necessary and times are going to come. Right now we are following a different path. <laughs> Says so engagement iko hapa ya kuongea wanafuata hiyo na mambo mengine wanangoja. Tuone what will be the outcome. But we know all of us are suffering in as much the talk is going on so because you do not want Raila Odinga to lead mass action you are against him you gave him names now he's saying that we are now following different path so we'll talk when the right time comes 
So watu wazimio walikuwa anambia baba usiende kuongoza maandamano wacha watu waumie kwanza wakione <laughs> na wenyewe waongoza haya maandamano and you would see that Rift Valley is going to lead in the mass action followed by Mount by Mount Kenya then other people will be following pole pole nyuma yao pole pole nyuma yao mambo yatakuwa hivi i don't know your views but let us meet in the comment section to continue with this discussion thank you so much and see you in our next video